Say hello to the Book of Mormon. Ben Brantley of the New York Times says the Book of Mormon is the best musical of this century. Winner of nine Tony Awards, including Best Musical, the Book of Mormon. Performances begin February 12th at Robinson Performance Hall. Visit CelebrityAttractions.com. Hi, Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times on Monday, February the 11th. Big news today, Governor Asa Hutchinson announced his highway plan, and I say his highway plan, it seems to have broad agreement. The Highway Construction Lobby, the Highway Commission, the uh, Truckers Lobby, a number of legislators were on hand to announce the plan. Here's what it is. They say it would raise a record $300 million a year for every sort of highway improvement, fix every bridge in the state, fix every freeway, fix every secondary road. How would they do it? Well, first of all, they would ask voters to continue permanently a half cent sales tax for highway. We've got one that expires in 2023 that's supporting a bond issue. This would guarantee that source of general revenue forever, $200 million a year. There'd be another big chunk supplied by an increase in the fuel tax. <coughs> It'd be indexed to the price of gas at the wholesale level. It would turn out to be about three cents a gallon on gas and six cents a gallon on diesel. It'd be capped at that, the governor said. He also says that he's going to count on $35 million a year in revenue from casino gambling in Arkansas. This would dip heavily into existing general revenue contributions from gambling at the current rate. He's confident, he says, however, that new expanded gambling will eventually make up for that. In the meanwhile, he's willing to tap reserve funds to make good on that $35 million promise. Any way you slice it, that's more general revenue taken from general needs of the state, such as schools, and put into the highway program. He'd also put into effect a new fee on electric and hybrid vehicles. It would produce a small amount of money now, maybe a lot later. The theory is that they're not paying much for road upkeep. Of course, those cars don't cost much in the way of road upkeep like the truckers do, and we don't begin to put enough money on the truckers to pay for the damage we have to repeatedly repair on our state's interstates. But that's the way it goes in Arkansas. The electric car drivers don't have a lobby. The truckers do. Well, elsewhere today at the Capitol, the state Democratic Party put forward its idea for income tax relief. It's a very simple plan. It's a fair plan. It's a good plan. It would be economically uh, valuable to Arkansas. They'd do two things. They'd have an earned income tax credit, 10% of the federal credit that's given to working poor people, and that money would instantly go back into the economy and spending be good for the state. They'd also not give a cut at the top marginal tax rate to people making $456,000 a year from 6.9% to 5.9%. As Asa Hutchinson wants to do, this would save some $75 million, perhaps more. All this together would be a fair plan and would do less damage to public services. But Asa Hutchinson is determined, and the legislature seems ready now, if they have a highway plan as well, to give the rich people a tax break. One percent of Arkansas would get nearly all the money. That's uh, fairness in the day of Arkansas. Oh, and the poor people who drive little cars will have to pay more for their gas. Well, elsewhere today, what else do we have? We have here, if I could only read my, oh yes, one other legislative matter. Trent Garner, today, today and every day's nominee for worst legislator of the year, wants to move the primary election again in 2020 back from May to March. This is supposedly to take advantage of presidential primary excitement. We'll be just one of many southern states voting again for Donald Trump. Few people will come to visit us. It's not a big deal. Nobody really cares how Arkansas votes anyway because we simply don't have enough electoral votes to count for much. The problem is, is this moves campaigning into the Thanksgiving and Christmas season. It reduces attention to the races. That's not a good thing, but it also will extend the campaign season for people in judicial elections who have a runoff, they'll have to have an election that starts in March and won't end until the following November. It's a bad thing for judicial elections. We shouldn't be electing judges anyway. This will uh, reduce their meaningful campaign time uh, in the first primary, but extend it if they happen to be in a runoff. Not a good idea, but the Republican Party supports it. So that likely means it'll be passing. Good idea out of California. The new governor there, Gavin Newsom, is going to study the impact financial and otherwise on charter schools, on public schools. They've been terribly damaging to real public schools. They take money away and they have a hard time supporting services against the charter schools. Big deal in Los Angeles, much as it is in Little Rock where the Walton Family Foundation is working to privatize schools here. Maumelle, normally a quiet community, had a homicide over the weekend. A 19-year-old man was found dead in his apartment with two gunshot wounds in the head. At the moment, the police don't really have an idea what happened. <clears throat> Arkansas, another bottom of the nation ranking this time in the human rights campaign's judgment of uh, equality under the law and, and 
practice for LGBT people. We're at the bottom with a number of other states. We uh, don't provide civil rights protections to gay people. We don't, uh, in fact, we provide specific protections to people who discriminate. And the Arkansas Supreme Court recently said it'd be illegal for local, local authorities to try and give some protections to LGBT people. And sometimes people wonder why people don't want to come to Arkansas. We'll have to think on that for a minute. Well, how about it's a dog's life? Couple of dog story today for one thing. An amazing story you can read about on Arkansas blog. The Chihuahua that was shot by a Faulkner County deputy. He's recuperating, I'm happy to say. Uh, Reese's is. But huge fight between the fellows taking care of the dog. Somebody raised some money for him. There's competing money-raising campaigns, allegations of misspending, a harassment complaint. You just have to check Arkansas blog to read all about it. And also, the Greyhound dog racing lobby is going to be given free drinks and eats to legislators tonight. Good time to mention that uh, Greyhound racing had its high number of injured dogs in years last year at the Southland Racing Track, which says, though it's going to expand its casino, it has nothing in mind about reducing dog racing at the track. Florida just uh, voted to do away with Greyhound racing, and when all those tracks are gone, there are only going to be a handful left in five states, but Arkansas is going to be one of them. Is that a good thing? The Greyhound people have responded responded angrily on my blog today to a notion that it should come to an end. Uh, animal rights people have a different view. There are lots of things to resist. Keep at it. I'm Max Brantley. I'll be back tomorrow.